Hey guys, it's D Man Twenty One Hundred Four, and I've got a brand new wallet for you today. I've been working on this design on and off for a while, but I think I've finally gotten it. It's not uh, perfected quite yet, but I'm still working on it, and I think I'll sell them for about ten to twelve dollars, depending on what. Uh, design or how it's made. So the base of it is orange, it has velcro on it, and there's a chrome brim. So this is pretty much the base of the wallet right here. It's thick, but it holds a lot. And trust me by that. Uh, I'll put all my cash and all the cards that I have right here for you in to show you. But here it is. So it's a trifold bifold. There you go. And it's got a billfold right there. Then it has a two hidden pockets right there. And then it has a big old ID right there. And it is plastic. Then there would be a change pocket right here. I haven't uh, received my magnets yet from Amazon, so I'm waiting for that. And there would be a magnetic change pocket right there. So there that is. Now I'll show you the how much, well, the capacity of the wallet. Okay, guys, so here it is. I have my money. I don't have any change in it yes, yet because the change pocket isn't finished. I don't have a lot of cards to use, so I only use three. Uh, so I have an ID right here, uh, like a ski pass, and then that uh, card I usually use, and then I have like ten or tw like about ten uh, dollar, ten uh, dollar bills, and it still folds down. Ah, uh, that's how thin it is alone right there. It folds over. Folds over again. And there you go. It fits all of, uh, the stuff. Uh, next up I have it for you is a camo wallet. Hey guys, so here's a camo wallet. Uh... The design on the outside was inspired by Allison wallets and the whole chrome with uh, camo was in inspired by, uh, who inspired me to make this was Duct Tape Alex. Something like that. I don't know if there's a number in there anywhere, but I'll put, it, a, uh, put it in the description. I'll find the name of it. So the outside is a barcode design wallet. There are folder over lines, but I like folder over lines. It's just me. Uh, and there it is. So there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve barcodes. And then chrome on the inside. The cards do go in easily. I'm using a different card right now, my uh, school pass. There, two, three. And I am making the card slots two inches instead of uh, two inches high instead of however short I was making them last time. And now uh, the cards go in farther. So you can still see the brim right there, which I like. Then it has the Chrome ID, which looks very nice, hard plastic. And then on the inside, it has a just a regular billfold. Up next for you, I have my sister's 
pencil pouch I made for her. Okay guys, this was a work in progress that I've been uh, making for a while. This is the pencil pouch I made for my I have made for my sister for her seventh grade year. Okay, so uh, she picked out the design she wanted for it, and I made it into this. So Skywalker's Lacrosse, that is the logo for her uh, lacrosse team. That is the Hollister Bird in Aqua. That is in Deep Ocean Blue, and that is a palm tree I made. I found the template on the internet on Bing. So this is beige, maroon, and black which makes the base of it and then for the tree the actual leaves that is lime green this is a black under armor sign and this is a purple Abercrombie and Fitch moose and then here is a electric blue billabong sign see the waves and then here's the Roxy symbol in orange. Here's the Nike symbol in yellow and then in yellow and houndstooth is the enjoy uh, logo and if you're not familiar for, with enjoy it's a skate company it's very creative I like it a lot so is she. And then is the Penn State. My father went to Penn State so uh, and my whole family loves Penn State, so that is a college in Pennsylvania. Uh, so on the inside, it is Velcro. I offered to do magnets, but she just said no, she wants it sooner. So it's got like a little flap I left right there, and then a big old uh, pouch. So let me just get a few pens, pencils, show you that it does fit. I'll get it from my pencil case that I made for myself. And here it is. I made this pencil pouch for myself. I'm going to put magnets on it. Now it's a little different. It's got like a divider in it right there. And I've used that to like put my pens and pencils and highlighters on it. And it really looks really nice, actually. It's got a chrome, like, billfold divider type thing that it looks like. So I'll take out my stuff, show you that it does have a big capacity. These are on uh, sale. Well, I'll be putting them on sale because they're really nice. So here we got colored pencils, a eraser, a few highlighters, a few pens pencil and uh, wooden pencils like an oops like correction tape the white stuff and also a dry erase marker so let's see if it fits okay so here it is I'll speed it up for you Okay, so it does fit. It's not like a perfect fit, but it does fit inside of the pouch. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting a too much in this because it might break. I I've seen Allison wallets. Uh, hers are really nice, but if you want just something real simple like this, come to me. Uh, I'll give you them plain for six dollars and with a design seven dollars so that's all I have for you today and I'll talk to you guys later